I think, and this is something I tell almost everyone that they come in, uh, don't come in here and feel like you need to keep up. Especially for younger people or people that are reasonably fit already coming in, it can be a little bit discouraging because you may come into some classes and see people that look like your mom, for lack of a better term. You know, these 40 year or 50 year olds may not look like they are physical specimens that are in exceptional shape, and then all of a sudden they're running circles around you, making you look silly. So that's one of the big things is when you first come in, what we're concerned with is quality of movement. So I don't want you to go at 100%. I want you to come in, I want you to get in the swing of things, learn to move the way we want you to move, go through uh, a couple weeks of training sessions and focus on doing things properly. Once you can do that, that's when we're going to ratchet up the intensity. So I think that's a really common misperception from people is that no pain, no gain mentality or you know, you gotta work as hard as you can every second of the day. Yeah, we wanna push you, we want you to work to your capabilities, but if you, if you try to push a little bit too hard too soon, that's when you develop poor motor patterns. And once you get into a habit of doing things improperly, it's really hard to break. So movement quality is A number one before you add intensity. I think that's one of the most important things that a lot of people really don't pay enough attention to. The fitness world is all about perceptions and uh, opinions, to be honest. And uh, one of the things I really try to break down is um, harder does not mean better. I could take anyone and just put them into the ground with a brutal workout, just absolutely punish them, make them completely exhausted, feel like they're going to die, sweating buckets, totally sore the next three, four, five, six days, whatever. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to get them the best, uh, the best possible workout. Uh, for me, I, I, the biggest faux pas I tell people to stay away from is just um, take on a manageable workload and work smart, not hard. Uh, you know, the number one goal should always be to improve your quality of movement, bring it up to a certain standard, and then to uh, just get stronger and leaner uh, through proper training. And proper training includes proper rest. Um, and that means rest within a certain workout and rest within a week and rest within a month and rest within a year. Um, you know, every good program will have kind of peaks and valleys as far as the intensity is concerned. Uh, so that's, that's something I really try to help people understand is, you know, don't be overexcited uh, to accomplish your goals where you just want to go, 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 go all the time because you won't be able to sustain that for a long period of time. Uh, you'll either get injured or you'll just burn out mentally and totally fall off the wagon, which is the opposite of what you want.